What's up Raptors fans? Welcome to the Warriors Report. I know it's been a while since I've dropped a video guys. I just worked 16 hours yesterday, slept six hours today and then went to my other job and now I got work in about seven hours again. So between that, I'm trying to balance out to drop in some videos for you guys. But we got some interesting news today and this was by Shams Charnia. It reveals that Dennis Schroeder rejected the Phoenix Suns and the Toronto Raptors to join the Los Angeles Lakers. This was some very interesting news because obviously the Toronto Raptors are involved, the Phoenix Suns are involved, but you know this is a Raptors channel, so I'm going to discuss what this means for the Raptors, my thoughts initially. This is going to be a very laid-back video, guys. So if you're doing some house chores, if you're washing the dishes, if you're cooking, if you're out for a walk, if you're on a nice drive, make sure to put the volume up, listen to this nice little short video. I'm not going to exaggerate it too much. I'm going to keep it nice and simple for you guys. So if you're ready to watch this video, make sure to hit the like button. Let's try to get this video to 120 likes. And if you want to hit the subscribe button as well and join a fun basketball community that engages in conversations in the comment section and for a YouTuber that actually reads all the comments and reacts to most of them, this is definitely the channel for you. So make sure to hit the subscribe button as well. So with that being said, let's get into today's video. Now, as you guys know, I do like to give out shout outs on my channel. And for today's video, the shout out goes out to Todd Stevens. So Todd, thank you so much for supporting this channel through likes and comments. And in fact, Todd is going for a three-peat in today's video. So if you want to stop him, go jump to the trivia section at the end of this video. Answer the trivia question in the comment section. You'll get a shout out in my next video. But let's talk about this. Now, I'm actually pretty glad, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to sound bitter to a lot of non-Raptors fans and even maybe to some Raptors fans. I'm actually glad that Dennis Schroeder passed up on the Toronto Raptors. Now, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to give you my opinion. I know a lot of people would have said, well, he would be great for a team that really needs a backup point guard and take into consideration that Fred Van Vliet played heavy minutes last season and he definitely needs a little bit of relief from the point guard position and the backup position. He would have definitely benefited in some ways. I'm not going to sit here and lie, guys. Dennis Schroeder is a really nice player. He would have fit on the Raptors, but I'm going to explain why I personally am excited that he didn't sign with the Raptors. Again, I'm not trying to be bitter, although he may come across that. He would have definitely benefited from being on the Raptors squad because you got guys like Chris Boucher and Precious Achua who definitely would have benefited for someone like Dennis Schroeder, who's a pass-first point guard it definitely would have been great for some of those guys getting them easy looks but i'm here to tell you why i'm actually happy the raptors didn't choose him not for several reasons because a lot of raptors fans you've heard it over the forums you've heard it on bleachers report you've heard it in facebook groups you've heard it on reddit you've heard it in the comment section here a lot of people have bought into the 6869 vision dennis Schroeder is listed at 63 he's a point guard slash shooting guard and even in fact a lot of fans have even gone as far as to say the raptors should trade fred van vliet because he doesn't fit into that now fred van vliet is a great player i think he belongs on the raptors but dennis Schroeder, i think he just doesn't fit into the raptors for several reasons take into consideration as i mentioned you got six eight six nine guys and then you got a short point guard and fred van vliet who a lot of fans aren't happy with they want to get rid of him for whatever reason i think he's great but then you're gonna bring in another short point guard off of the bench I don't think it makes sense. The Raptors are trying to buy into the 6869 vision. You send Fred Van Vliet to the bench. You got guys like Scotty Barnes ready to take over that point guard duty for the temporary time. And not only Scotty Barnes, you also got a Pascal Siakam who is really taking the next step and becoming a really good passer and paying point guard duties. So I think him and Pascal could definitely play point guard duties as well. But taking into consideration that Dennis Schroeder is looking for the big payday. Let's not kid ourselves. He signed a two, about $2 million contract, one year deal with the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, I'm actually surprised he took the Los Angeles Lakers. I know there's been some rumors about Russell Westbrook potentially moving to the bench and he maybe have the opportunity to start there. But again, that's an organization that will literally trade anyone and everyone to please LeBron James and Anthony Davis. They'll trade draft capital seven years from now to acquire a bench piece. I mean, that organization isn't the best person, in my opinion, at the current moment for guys like Dennis Schroeder. He would have had better opportunities elsewhere, but also taken into consideration. Now, this I feel really strongly about because I think it doesn't make sense for the Raptors to sign a point guard for this reason. Malachi Flynn is going into his third year. The Raptors ultimately do have to decide if he, who is a young player who hasn't necessarily had the opportunity with the Raptors. I know he struggled a bit at times with last season, but he hasn't necessarily had the opportunity to really perform himself and just show the Raptors what he's capable of and I don't think he's one of those players you can send down to the G League like he's he's performed well in the G League he's not going to be there he's either with the Raptors or with another team if you sign Dennis Schroeder onto a team like the Toronto Raptors what's going on with Malachi Flynn are you just keeping him glued to the bench there's no point of having someone like a Malachi Flynn on the bench in my personal opinion at that point if you sign a backup point guard a veteran point guard who can play a lot of minutes like Dennis Schroeder where does that leave Malachi Flynn I know a lot of people a lot of Raptors fans 
I'm very high on Malachi Flynn. Personally, I'm very high on him. I think he's still got potential. Whether that's with the Raptors or not, I don't know. That's for Masai to decide. Again, we'll see how much Nurse plays him, but that's just for one of the several reasons. It makes sense. Like, where are you going to play Malachi Flynn if Dennis Schroeder comes in? He's not going to be getting any minutes, essentially. Then you got a $2 million contract just sitting on the bench, glued a young player. And you, even if you do plan on trading him, I think you need to raise his value by letting him play a little bit. Let him showcase some of his skills. So, for again, for that reason, personally, Dennis Schroeder didn't make sense. And take into consideration that Dennis Schroeder is in a contract year. He obviously is one of those players that wasn't getting a lot of um, offers from a lot of NBA teams, but he signed a one-year deal with the Los Angeles Laker, Lakers for a reason. He's looking for a big payday. We know he asked for $100 million several seasons back only to get nothing in return. So taking that into consideration that he does sign with the Raptors, which sounds great, but then he's looking for a huge payday next offseason. Again, ultimately, he's taking touches away from Delano Banton, Malachi Flynn, he's taking touches away from Precious Achua, and even some of the other guys, right? You could argue. So, I don't know, like, do you really want a player like that that is focused on himself and his money? That just doesn't seem like a guy that the Raptors culture would embrace. He's more about himself than the team. And again, his three-point shooting isn't the greatest. Take that into consideration. I know he's a, he's a, he could be a sneaky defender, but he's not really known for his defense, right? Like he's not a great defender, I'd say by any means. Take, go look up his stats. I'm not gonna jump too much on the stats, but he's an, had a negative in the defensive winchers pretty much his last four or five seasons. So again, I don't know if he fits into the Raptors all that well. Would he provide some quality minutes for Fred Van Vliet? Absolutely. Would he definitely help guys like Chris Boucher and Precious? Possibly, very possibly. He's a good pass for his point guard. But again, he doesn't fit into the Raptors for seeing several different reasons that I have mentioned, but I do want to hear your thoughts, guys. So simple video. Like I said, I'm not going to drag it out for too long. I just wanted to give my initial thoughts on this and what I think. I mean, again, he would have been amazing. Think of a bench like Chris Boucher, you got Precious, you got Otto Porter, you got Thaddeus Young who can play the shooting guard, and then you would have Dennis Shorter. That sounds like a really solid roster with 10 deep. The Raptors starting five is said, but again, I just don't know where Dennis Shorter fits. I'm, I'm personally happy the Raptors didn't sign him. I'm okay with the roster we have. Let Scotty Barnes run point guard. Let Pascal Siakam run point guard when Fred Van Vliet goes to the bench. We got enough power fours that we can slide him into Scotty Barnes and Pascal's position there. So again, I'm personally happy. I do want to hear your thoughts. I'm not going to drag this video on for too long. But as always, guys, I do have a trivia question for you today. And this trivia question is, how many siblings does Malachi Flynn have? A very random question, but I remember when he got drafted, he had a lot of siblings in his room that was being broadcasted during the draft. So how many siblings does he have? Does he have A, four siblings? Does he have B, eight siblings? Does he have C, three siblings? Does he have D, six siblings? So whoever answers this trivia question correctly first in the comment section, gets a shout out in my next video. So that will be it for today's video, guys. So thank you so much for your support of this channel and for watching this video and i hope you guys have yourselves a great day